Okay, uh, afternoon everybody. Today I'm going to explain a little bit about the stip meter that we use on the golf course. This is designed by the USGA and is used all over the world. This is the tool that they use on a daily basis uh, to kind of get an idea of what the green speeds are running for that day. Um, this particular stip meter has two sides. One side is the traditional side for um, checking the speeds and then in some cases when the greens are a little bit more undulation and they're not as flat, they've designed the second side with a half reading um, to achieve that, that speed. So for today I'm going to use the traditional side and uh, on this meter also has a ruler on the side which is uh, three feet long and I use that to get our measurement. So we try and find a nice flat spot on the green and we have a little ball mark here to mark our starting point. And we're simply going to put the ball in the chamber and raise it until it releases on its own. Okay, we want the balls to be roughly the same speed where they finish. Um, and now we're going to take the average of the two balls and we're going to go back the opposite direction. It generally, when we go back the opposite direction, we want the balls to be roughly within six to eight inches so that we know it's a fairly flat surface. And then where we release the ball, I'm simply going to now measure that distance. Take the average of the two balls, which they're perfectly in line here, put them on the ruler, put the other ball where the ball mark was, and then find the halfway point. So we had nine feet, that's 10 feet, 11 feet. So this reading is 11.7 um, on this given stick reading. 